Just like with tying your shoes, there's not one right way to put on a set of Riff Ruff sneakers for your pup. The following video contains tips and tricks on how to introduce sneakers to your dog if they're new to Riff Ruffs and additionally contains two methods for putting on our dog shoes. Warning, the following video might tempt you to buy the only real dog sneaker for your pup. Riff Ruff is not liable for any mistakes you make in buying other dog shoe brands, but bears full responsibility for the compliments your pup receives on their walks while wearing our dog sneakers. Meet Archie. Archie is a 60 pound golden retriever who hasn't worn Riff Ruffs before, but is ready to protect his paws on his walks while looking incredibly stylish. To start, always make sure you use positive reinforcement to introduce any new foreign object to your pup. We'll begin with introducing a set of Riff Ruff dog sneakers to Archie. Be sure to reward your pup every time they show interest in the sneakers, just like how Archie is sniffing the shoes here. If you have a clicker that you use to train your dog, this would be a good time to use it. Click each time your dog shows interest in the sneakers and reward. Once your pup seems acclimated to the presence of the sneakers, begin with putting on one shoe at a time, starting with the front paws. Don't force the sneakers if your dog seems unwilling to let you put on the shoes, as this could create a negative experience and association with the shoes. Put on the second shoe on the opposite front paw and give plenty of praise. Let your dog walk around in the front shoes only first, letting them get used to the feeling. Your dog might walk a little silly initially because they need some time to get acclimated to not feeling the floor with their paws like they usually do. Once your dog has calmed down to the exciting feeling of putting on shoes for the first time, praise and reward generously. Next, proceed with putting on the rest of the sneakers on the hind paws. And voila, there you have it. All four shoes on a new pup. Reward generously for their accomplishment and for looking adorable. Again, your dog might walk around a little silly at first as they need a bit of time to adjust. Be sure not to laugh too hard. It's tough, we know. But you wanna make sure your dog doesn't get anxious wearing the shoes. Start little by little. Let your dog wear shoes for a max of 30 minutes per session for the first few days. As time goes on and your dog becomes more acclimated to the shoes, longer sessions should be a breeze. In the next portion of this video, we'll show you two methods of putting on shoes for those of you who have already conquered the Riff Ruff acclimation process with your pup. For method one, sit on the ground and keep your pup on your lap or as close to you as possible if your pup is a big boy or girl. Put one shoe on at a time, one side at a time. Make sure the logo is sticking on the outside. Grab one paw first, starting with the front paw and squeeze it on in there. You want to feel the paw digits to make sure they're all the way they can go in the shoe. For the hind paw, repeat the process. Grip and tighten the shoe. A little hack for the hind feet, grab the back flap and push it up all the way and then tighten the velcro. And then repeat the process for the other side. And that's it, your pup is good to go. One other method we like to use with putting Riff Ruff shoes on is to use your dog's weight to naturally push their paw into the sneaker. For example, as you are putting on the shoe onto the front right paw, Lift the front left leg so that your dog's weight gets distributed into the front right paw with gravity. Then tighten the strap as tight as it can go. Repeat this process for all four paws, using the opposite leg to let your dog's weight naturally push into the sneaker. In the event the shoe seems small at first, note that we do recommend shoes to fit snug in order to prevent any chance of the shoes falling off. Our shoes come with a padded collar lining in the shaft, similar to heel locks in human sneakers, so when putting the shoe on, it can be a bit tricky at first given the narrow shaft, but it's intended to keep the shoe on appropriately. If you feel there is additional space within the paw area of the shoe when the shoe is on, then there could be a chance that the paw is not in all the way like it is intended to be. Note that these are two methods we found that work well. However, there's no one right way to put on your dog's sneakers. Just like humans, each dog is different and you'll need to work with your pup to figure out what method of putting on dog sneakers works best for them. And with practice, patience, and lots of reinforcement, your pup will be walking like a dog sneaker head in no time. Some final tips. If you need help with figuring out the right shoe size for your pup, check out our other YouTube video, How to Size Your Dog Sneakers. We're always just an email or chat message away in case you need some additional help with putting your riffruffs on your pup. And that's it. We can't wait to see your pup in the only real dog sneaker. Welcome to the Riff Ruff Pack. 